A spell of doom. The sinister darkness of many forests of Middle Europe had a reputation for centuries of being a haunt of witches and other creatures in league with the devil. One such place was a triangle woods in Bohemia. The neighbors' villages told fearsome tales of magic. The witch of Grim World had avoided and leafy glades after dark. Two young men, however, prayed the old folks' warning, and rashly set out to hunting trip to bring upon their reckless heads the spell of doom. We are in the clutches of the dreadful witch. We are lost, lost. Carl and his friend Jan, after hunting rabbits all morning, pools for midday rest to poor day all these hours of stalking, and not a single rabbit in our bed. Tell you what we do, the par folks here and comes together again. About three kilometers beyond the hill. You go that way, I'll take the other. Then we meet and head home. Our other friends part. Carl loses the trail, standing deeper and deeper into the underbrush. Where is that path I lost? Where it is, Jan? Hello? Hello? But the only science that answers is cool. I am wary. I wouldn't, I mustn't get any deeper in this forest. It is the haunt of the dread witch of God's world. Let the evening shadows close in upon the lost hunter. A fantastic mirror of light, tiny lights begin to illuminate the woods all around him. Glow worms. And they've seen, before I've seen so many. Carl blunders ahead and leaves a glow leads him on, on. And late. What can it be? When he reaches the spot, he's pulled. A skeleton, a hunter too. There's his gun. He was caught fast in the brambles. This is a witch's work. Reach, looking closer, Carl could see the reason for the strange light. His skull is a nest of glowworms. Millions of them. Ah! Yes, he retreats. The place is cursed. I must get out of here. Jan, Jan! Later completely lost in the bush, he falls exhausted to the ground and sleeps. Suddenly Carl wakes and finds himself surrounded. His cats, where did they all come from? The cats, witches always have cats. Away, you demons. The fairy creatures spit and crawl and tire man so viciously that he falls into a vast full plaint. Brown, brown. A dawn breaks a gentle hand, lightly touches the fallen hunter, and his bewildered eyes behold a young, a sweet, compassionate face of a young blonde girl. You poor man, you are hurt. Let me help you. You must be an angel. No, I'm just a girl. My name is Esther. I live in a cottage not far from here. Come, let me assist you. You are very, very kind. As they approach the humble cottage, a dog springs up, growling to bar their way. Down, down, I say. Don't mind him, sir. I will chastise him. I'll teach him a lesson. Don't punish the beast. He didn't. He didn't know. Me. Doesn't that, doesn't worry. Girl, whips the cringing dog away. I always treat dogs sternly. It's the only way to make them obey me. A crone appears in the doorway. Bring the poor gentleman right in here, Esther. Yes, grandmother. After the rest, Carl is served a tasty hot meal. It's wonderful. I feel like a new man again. Oh, I'm so glad. We are so happy to be able to help you, sir. This girl is lovely, charming, and sport. I think I could fall in love with her. After dinner, Carl sits for a while, smoking his pipe, when he return, thinks of returning to his own home. So I better get started, but first I must thank them for their wonderful stability. And probably, and probably in that room. Then he swings open the door. Carl's heart thinks I knew in fear and foreboding as cats. They're the ones that attacked me in the forest last night. Cats always surround witches. They're a woman. She's the witch. The witch of Gretzel Whitwald. Oh, hastily leaves the cottage. I must quit this place. If I value my soul, oh, if I only had my gun. 
The cold was amazement. The dog, formerly hostile, drops up with a gun in his mouth. Say, what's this? My gun, the dog, must have found it in the forest. But a second look puzzled him. It isn't my gun. It bears the initials J H. This is my friend, Jans. He must be near here somewhere. <sighs> then the lowly blonde, lovely blonde girl approaches. A cold thoughts of danger overcome by nearness of her beauty. Are you leaving, sir? Esther, this is an evil place that old woman may be your grandmother, but she's a witch, and no good will come to you. Here, flee with me. I'll be my bride, and we will be happy together. Oh, yes, yes, my beloved. We'll be together forever, I promise you. But you are also thinking of your friend Jan. Come with me, if you want to look upon his face again. Yes, where is he? Esther leads Carl to a placid woodland pool. In ancient times, this was called the pool of future being. The waters reflect what the years ahead portrayed. You want to see your friend, Jen? Look into it. Sounds like superstition, but I have a look. What's that? The face of a dog? Yes, your friend, Jen, is the dog that tried to eventually entering our cottage. He would not be a dog always. That is horrible. What, that witch? Now look down at your paws and see that you are a dog too. You'll be together forever, as I promise. The other dog nervously skirting around, growls and Esther draws a whip. Both to the house, battle for you. At night, groveling in the ashes near the fire. Grrr, what is happening, Mr. Dan? We're doomed. We're doomed forever. Grrr, I have tried to warn you twice, but you do not understand. Grrr, you must have got and lost too and let into the evil clutches of the old woman grow no Carl the old woman is just a poor helpless creature Esther is the witch of the Christ world